All right, today we're gonna to look at uh, Thrivecart and Fluent CRM again. So uh, somewhere up here, I'll link one of my videos where I talked about connecting Fluent CRM and Thrivecart using Zapier. And in that video, I mentioned you could also use a tool like Pabli Connect or Integromat or Integrately. And I received a couple requests to go over how Pabli would work. Some of you were having trouble connecting um, your test data with your webhook. So I wanna walk through that in this video to show you how to do that. All right, real quick before we jump in and look at that, I want to talk about why this is even necessary. So on one side we have Thrivecart and on the other side we have Fluent CRM and the two tools do not natively talk to each other. I wish that they did. I wish that Fluent CRM and Thrivecart would come up with a native integration between uh, their two products and hopefully they will in the future. And technically, even if they do, this method will still 100% work no matter what. So you're not wasting your time by doing this implementation. Um, but I just wanted to get that out of the way that this is obviously not ideal because there's no native integration, so that's why it's possible. So let's go ahead and dive in and actually look at the mechanics of getting this to work quickly. Okay, so here we are on uh, Pabli Connect. We wanna go ahead and create a workflow, and I'm just gonna do this from, from uh, scratch here. I'll just call it Pabli. You would call yours whatever you wanted your product to be called. And we're gonna search for, on um, this one we're gonna search for Thrivecart, because that'll be our trigger. So, and then we're gonna choose product purchase. In this example, I'm going to pretend that somebody's buying a course and I'm going to click this connect button. Um, we're gonna connect our Thrivecart API. Um, I've already done that, so I'm just gonna choose a connection and choose my Thrivecart account and click save. Now, what we wanna do is we want to choose which product is going to trigger this webhook. I'm going to choose test course. So when someone purchases my test course, this happens. Now I'm going to copy this webhook URL right here and we're going to take this webhook and we're going to go into our Thrivecart account under webhooks and implement that. So here we are under settings under webhooks. Let's paste in our webhook URL and let's give it a name. I'm going to call mine Pabli Test, but you could call yours the name of your product, Pabli. Honestly, the name only matters to you and then click save this webhook. Now we're back in Pabli. You can go ahead and click save and send test request. It doesn't really matter. Um, what we're going to do instead is we're going to submit a test order inside of Thrivecart to send our data over uh, to Pabli. So what you wanna do is click capture webhook response. Now let's go to Thrivecart. Make sure our product is in test mode unless you wanna spend your money. And let's go ahead and submit a test order so we can pull in the data so Pabli knows what it's going to map before it sends it to Fluent CRM. All right, so here we are in the test course. Let's just give this a refresh. There we go. Let's just go ahead and put in our name. We'll call it uh, Doug. Uh, let's go ahead and add our email address into this. I'm going to call it um, Doug plus Pabli test at Convology.com. Go to the TNC, copy the code number, put in a future date with a CVC and click complete order. So that's going to go through. Let's jump back over here to Pabli and let's wait until that data comes in. Should be in the next five seconds or so. All right, and our data came in. That took about maybe 10 seconds or so. So let's go ahead and now start mapping this to Fluent CRM. So now uh, we want to add a new app with that little plus sign down there and I'm going to choose Fluent CRM. Real quick, if you had already added Fluent CRM, you might have to refresh because what's going to happen is for some reason on Pabli Connect, occasionally, um, if you go to start mapping fields, it'll not find your test data. A, a refresh should solve that problem. But that's why I waited to add Fluent CRM right there. Now let's choose an action. Uh, the only one you can choose is incoming webhook and click connect. And now we need to go into Fluent CRM and paste in our webhook URL. All right, so um, on my test site here under incoming webhooks in settings, let's create a webhook and give it a name. I'm going to call this Pabli test. I'm gonna have it add people to the courses list and say that they're subscribed. I'll click create. And now all we have to do is scroll down and click update. It's going to give us our webhook that we can copy. And let's jump back in here to Pabli connect and paste in our incoming webhook. So now I'm going to click on email address and I'm going to map the email address that came in from Thrivecart and I'm going to click on uh, full name or first name and I'm gonna map that data as well. Okay, so there we go. I just clicked in the boxes, mapped my data and now I'm going to save and send a test request. Terrific, it should say created and now we're going to jump back into our Fluent CRM account and see if the user was added. All right, so here we go. 
Uh, it looks like it was added into my account just a few seconds ago, and it added them to the list courses, just like I did. It mapped their email and their first name. All right, so there it is. That's all there is to mapping Thrivecart to Fluent CRM using Pavly Connect. And again, like I said in my Zapier video, the process really is very similar between Zapier, Pavly, Int Integramat, Integrately, all those kinds of tools. Um, you just have to know some of the subtle nuances and tips and tricks. With Pavly, you're dealing with a webhook. With Zapier, it's so easy. It's like push a button, push a button, done. So. Um, if you have any questions about integrating with the other methods, I'm happy to create a video on, the, on those if there is enough interest. But for now, until there's a native integration between the tools, this is the best way to do it. And that'll do it for me. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave a comment in this video or at convology.com. And I'll see you in the next video.